Hey everyone, I'm the Off Grid Vegan Chef, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to cook food or just burn stuff by harnessing the power of the sun. A friend of mine gave me this big satellite dish and this old metal grate, so of course the first thing I thought was, holy sh**, I can turn this stuff into a parabolic solar stove. I started out by removing the coaxial cables and just taking the whole thing apart. It was pretty much just unscrewing a bunch of nuts and bolts and then pulling things apart. Pretty simple. It was pretty drab and ugly, so I decided in the spirit of the late great Tony Stark to give it a red and gold paint job. Here I have some mirror film, it's adhesive, I bought it off Amazon, I'll put a link in the description. I'm just cutting off a big length of it, and then I'm going to cut it up into a bunch of little squares that will be easy to apply to the dish. This was a really boring pain in the ass, but uh, it'll, it'll be worth it. After that I reassembled the dish and now I'm ready to burn some stuff. I figured a thick piece of cardboard would be a good start, so uh, let's give it a go. The mirror is focusing the sunlight into a beam like a laser. It gets super hot and it will burn just about anything given enough time. That's because a satellite dish is a shape called a parabola which equally reflects wavelengths down to a singular point. Normally it reflects radio waves onto an antenna, but if you turn it into a mirror, it will reflect visible light in the same way, once again, essentially making a laser. Well, that was pretty cool. It burned a big hole right through it. Alright, now I want to see if we can set something on fire. The antenna arm lets me know exactly where the focal point is so there's no guesswork. It's, it's pretty convenient in that sense, but it does get in the way when I'm trying to cook stuff so I'll end up taking it off later. Oh yeah, look at her burn. Oh, Ow! That's hot. Damn it. Crap. Now let's see if I can make some coffee. I sped this video up like 1000% because it's really boring. I had it on there for about 15 or 20 minutes and although it didn't reach the roaring boil I was hoping for, it did get plenty hot enough to make a good cup of coffee. Look at that black gold. Alright, now I'm gonna saute some veggies. I've got the pan down low, cast iron skillet with the beam reflecting down on it, heating it up. Once it gets up to a few hundred degrees, I'm going to toss the veggies in there. I'm cooking uh, onions, peppers, and mushrooms. And I'm just gonna saute these for about 15 minutes, maybe 20. It was a little bit cloudy when I was doing this, so I didn't get quite the heat I was hoping for, but it still worked fine. I just stir them frequently, mist them with some water so they don't dry out too much, and here they are, the finished veggies after again about 15 or 20 minutes, and they look great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and boil some noodles. I've been heating up this water for about 10 minutes, and I'm just going to toss my noodles in there and let those cook for about another five minutes. And five minutes later, yep, they're perfectly soft and ready to eat. Check it out, rice noodle soup for lunch. I seasoned the broth, tossed the veggies in there. It was delicious. So I made this and the coffee in about 45 minutes, maybe a little less. And I didn't use any fuel at all. Just pure natural sunlight and a big ass mirror.
Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, if you've made it this far, that means I haven't annoyed you away yet, so uh, why not watch another one?